Hi, readers. It's been a big seven days for girl power in Sweden. And uh, if there's something I want to address now before I go any further, I find it very interesting that these cultures that are celebrated as, oh, they're proud Vikings. They're always the stupidest people when it comes to shit like gender equality. All that means in the context that they're putting it in is we let our women push us around and make our decisions for us. Oh, wow. We're so proud of our gender equality. Yeah, we're so proud that our, our men and women, they they weigh the same. They're like both. They're all six foot two and they weigh like 150 pounds. Yeah, that'll that'll scare a lot of people. Yeah, a bunch of beanpole rail thin and androgynous elf people. That'll scare a lot of people. That'll prevent. Um, never mind. You know what? You, you know what I'm going to say? It's now starting to make more sense to me why all these Northern European white supremacist types take such umbrage with the fact that I point out the uh, the dysfunctions of, uh, let's say, transsexuals, for example. Those people have some very serious psychosexual issues that, that they need to solve, and um, if they solve them, a lot of what ails them will, will go away, but, you know, they, they view that as, uh, as ingrained in their culture, and it's very important, so who am I to judge? So anyway, hi readers, and this is from the local.se. Hi readers, it's been a big seven days for girl power in Sweden. First, a black woman who blocked the path of a group of neo-Nazis on the march grabbed Swedish and then global headlines as an iconic photo of her action swept across social media. I can't think of anything more perfectly Sweden than that. Meanwhile, a student told the local why she decided to bare her breasts for a school photo, reigniting debates around public sexuality. Oh, and it's linked to why I bared my breasts for a school photo. Hashtag white girls are magic. Why I bared my breasts for a school photo. 19-year-old Hannah Bolander from someplace in southern Sweden has reignited a public sexuality debate after posing topless for her school photo. So proud of my daughter. She shows her boobs. She showed her boobs to her entire class. On the day of an annual photo shoot for the school yearbook, Hannah Bolander, Bolander's class came up with the idea that one of the girls should bare her breasts and Bolander volunteered. My classmates are politically active. Oh, this is, this is the, um, you know, this is the, uh, the gender proud g tradition of Viking gender equality you're seeing. And it continues to this day. My classmates are politically active. We just thought somebody should take a stand and show her boobs. And it just felt natural. She told the local and she doesn't regret it in the slightest. I just thought, why shouldn't I be able to do that? If guys can take off, take their tops off. It was kind of spontaneous, but I do really care about these questions. Now, I'd be very curious to know how many uh, how many boys in the photo took off their shirts. I'd be very curious to know that. Bolander pointed out that she had met men with bigger breasts than hers, and they never felt the need. <laughs> Sweden, yes, we're come to Sweden where our men have. Uh, they're we're we're such uh we're such gender egalitarians that our men have have breasts the size of women's. Aren't we great? Wow, we're we're great. Come visit us. No. <laughs> I, I, is there anything I can say? Is there anything I can say that would make that more funny? No. How do you articulate the absurdity of that? How do you put that into context even more than it already just did for itself? She met men with bigger breasts than hers and they never felt the need to keep them under wraps. So wait, oh, are these like, um, are these like uh, girls that, that gave away their virginities too easily and then they like shaved their heads and started going around topless and, and talking about anti Antifa and they're like, men are evil, men are evil. And they probably own like a strap on cause they get, they, they want a penis to get revenge on the guy that took their virginity. And they're like, I identify as, I identify as, uh, okay. That's probably it, maybe. Who knows? It's a strange place, Northern Europe. As a feminist, she should fee be free to reveal as much flesh as the opposite sex. 
She said, I think it's a social construct that we should think of breasts as such a big deal. Bolander, who studies aesthetics and theater, of course you do, said she was surprised but pleased that her school had gone ahead and published the yearbook despite their reservations. My principal and the photo company weren't thrilled, but they respected it and they just wanted to inform me of the risks. How about you're a child, you are a retard, we're not going to uh, succumb to your whims. Oh, of course, but of course they did. They believe in equality. They, you got to be equal to a 19-year-old ditz. There are men with big breasts as me. What kind of men are you hanging out with? They're nothing that I'd call men. Her equally topless male friend was not given any such information. She noted, why are they taking, there we go. We answered that question. Why are they taking their shirts off in the first place? Fuck you, Sweden. Fuck you, Northern Europe. You're a bunch of fucking wimps who let your children run roughshod over you. No, standards are oppressive and bigoted. You know, that's why they're inviting all of these uh, Northern Africans. Those, those guys are going to do it for them. Good. Good. Maybe you'll have a lucid, you'll have a more lucid outlook on reality when your genetics are defiled. I find it very interesting that as European genetics, they get muddicked, they get, they become less pure. Those that have those less pure genetics, they seem to have a pretty realistic outlook on how things should be. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering why that is. So pure and naive, and what does it get you? Reigniting a debate about public sexuality. Let's keep reading. Let's see how far this goes. Reactions to the photo have mostly been positive, she said, and her family gave their full backing despite being a bit scared, quote-unquote, a bit scared. Again, you're letting your young act like retards. And and from the looks of it, they haven't they haven't unfucked themselves. Again, the purer the genes, it seems, the more naive and stupid and and retarded the people are. To live in a perpetual state of arrested development, but hey, at least you're genetically pure. Because you know there's gonna be a uh, you know when it's all said and done, when judgment day comes, you're gonna need your 23 and Me results. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, reactions. Okay, I read that. With the story making waves in the Scandinavian press, Bolander said she had noticed a stark difference between Swedes and Norwegians. The strongest reactions have been in Sweden, and more Swedes were against it. Norwegians were just like, that's great, well done. Proud Viking tradition of gender equality. Yeah, well done. Well done. My wife pushes me around, and I let her. Because she's as big as me, I am... I am fra I'm a frail, tall man. I am a very sensitive soul. Proud Viking tradition of gender equality. Our ch children run around like skanks. I want them to stop, kind of, but my wife says it's fine. This is... <laughs> Why should I care about what happens to Sweden? Why should I care about what happens to these people? So Norwegians were like, that's great, that's done. And she says... My favorite reaction came from a Norwegian man in his 70s who told me if he had a granddaughter who'd done this, he would have been so proud. Now, I've ha I have this hypothesis that we've been we've been the, the living animated dead for about 100 years, and that fits within that timeline. Respect your elders, they say. I'm supposed to respect an old retard that wants to see his granddaughter's tits. No. All right, what else? So, oh, the 19-year-old said she would continue to fight for equal rights. But I don't see the need to show my breasts all the time. Yeah, that's that's great. 19-year-old dipshit knows what rights are. And, and Sweden's the most uh, atheistic country, isn't it? Well, one of them, at least. Yeah, that the, the rights are something you get from the government. I think that um, Europe, European people, white people in general need to raise the legal age, like when you're an adult, the age, the threshold for adulthood, you need to raise it to like, I don't know, 30. That, that seems about right. Bunch of neotenous, developmentally stunted retards. They really are like children. They see something that, that they don't have. They stomp their feet and throw a big fit. That's not fair. I want to do that too. Okay, let's go back to the this week in Sweden thing. 
editor's blog this week, Girl Power in Sweden. Um, after the 19-year-old dipshit story, get this, get listen, listen very closely now. Plus, a month after Sweden announced it was offering free IVF for single women, our debate article was written by a female writer who wants men to stop jerking off in public and think more seriously about donating sperm to help would-be mothers instead. Oh, don't donate the donate it to single moms. Donate your um, donate your jizz to single moms. That's great. Oh, yeah, that's just wonderful. Swedes, please give your sperm a purpose. Swedish men should stop jerking off in public places or having unprotected sex and start donating sperm to help single women have babies. Oh, great, single women. That's that's what we need, more single motherhood. Hey, it, and again, it's fine if white people do it. It's only a problem if colored people do it, right? When they do it, we can f- call them funny names and laugh and... And ignore stuff like this. No, this is actually a very important part of our culture. This is why we're better. We let our women and children run roughshod over us. It says, Swedes, please give your sperm a purpose. Swedish men should stop jerking off in public places or having unprotected sex and start donating sperm to help single women have babies, argues Stockholm-based writer Matilda Carlson. Now, single mothers, motherhood's fine as long as white people do it. What else? Speaking of making babies, or at least practicing, a cartoon showing how Swedes can prefer to get to know partners in the bedroom before dating them in public was one of a number of images being widely spread by the international community this week. We interviewed the Canadian author of the new book uh, the pictures are featured in, which is designed to help immigrants better understand life in the Nordics. <laughs> You see, the men, they like to uh, watch their women make love to to people like you. I want to know how they think that immigrants will blend in. Can these cartoon Swedes help foreigners blend in? Dating happens after sex and Swedes can struggle to show their emotions, argues Julian S. Burrell, the author of a new book designed to help foreign business people and refugees settle into life in the Nordics. Now, how you settle into life in the Nordics, you realize that these people are really fucked up sexually. The polarity of the sexes, they're reversed. The men don't stand up for themselves. The women think they have dicks. Yeah, that'll endear yourself to foreigners. God, you deserve everything you get. No, not deserve, you've earned. You've earned everything you will get. Elsewhere, Sweden's Green Party remained in the news as it slid uh, down an opinion poll following a string of scandals over the past month. While it was also a bad time for Sweden's national coordinator against violent extremism, Mona Salin, who quit her high-profile post after a revelation she misrepresented her bodyguard salary to help him secure a mortgage. Boring. Meanwhile, summer finally arrived in Sweden, with Stockholm the first city to officially enter the new season. Who cares? You people are... you're nobodies. 